I'm Plexi Cosplay. In this video, I'm going to show you how to cast resin into a silicone mold. If you don't know how to make a silicone mold, go ahead and watch the video that I made last week, here perhaps, on how I did my two-part silicone mold, which ended up turning into a cup mold. Once you have that ready, then it is time to go ahead and cast resin into the cavity of the silicone mold. So let's get started. I have my mold here. I've made a two-part cut mold. It was supposed to be a two-part silicone mold, but if you watched the previous video on how I made this, you'll see why it ended up being a cut mold. Essentially, I have two pieces here though, and I've learned my lesson. I will be using Ease Release before I, I um, fill it with the casting material. I don't actually really need it. I'm using KX Flex and it should be compatible with this where I don't need the ease release, but there's no harm in adding a bit just to make sure that it comes apart. So I'm gonna spray all of the edges with the ease release. Just a light coating. And I'm gonna let that dry just for a moment. For this mold, whenever I pour it, I would like it to have a gold sheen. You can use mica powder on the inside of your mold before you pour in your casting material. So I'm doing a gold metallic look. I'm going to use a bristle brush, dip it in the metallic, then I'm just going to lightly coat the inside of my mold. even bend your mold to try to get into the crevices that you wouldn't normally be able to. The next step once you have your mold prepared, if you added mica powder, cool, if not that's fine too. If you have done a two-part mold you'll have registration keys so you'll know exactly where to line this up. Um, otherwise just be very careful when you're aligning it that everything is exactly lined up as best as you can. You're going to use bands. You can use, I'm going to use rubber bands here, but there's never enough strapping. So make sure that you use um, straps, clamps, whatever you have to secure everything in place. to go a little overboard on strapping because I think it's kind of like supports for when you do a print is if you don't have quite enough it can fail the whole thing but doing too much really won't you might have a little extra cleanup or something at the end for too many supports but too many straps just a little extra time I'm gonna check and make sure everything's still lined up it's looking good okay so my pour spout is here at the top so I'm gonna mix and begin to pour. This one is a one-to-one -one ratio. It's an extremely fast cure time. I'm gonna try to seal those up real quick. gonna give this a go. Ooh, it's warm. Just slowly pouring it in. Wish I had something else to cast because apparently I didn't need nearly as much of this as I thought. my stick in there so that it will be easier for me to pull it out whenever I'm done. Okay so this has a very fast cure time of about 20 minutes so I've waited that long. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. You take your bands off. You could also cut your bands but I like to reuse mine. Moment of truth. Thank you. 
super flexible, but also is a rigid piece. I wish I had dyed it darker. I'm gonna do it again. So I hope whatever you cast turned out well. If not, or if you have any further questions, go ahead and ask them in the comments below. Please like and subscribe to this channel, um, and come and see me next week for another Tutorial Tuesday. Thanks again!